guys it's sydney welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new i'm sydney today's video is going to be an aritzia tna sweatpants guide video and this video was actually requested by one of you guys and so many of you guys were like yes please do a sweatpants guide video so thank you all so much for the video idea i always show aritzia sweats like in my hauls and in my styling videos because i love aritzia sweat sets so much they're amazing quality um and i have quite a few of them and i know know on their website they have just like so many pairs of sweat sets and I know it can be hard just like wondering which ones to get and how they're gonna fit so I have about five pairs of sweats to show you guys and they're all on Ritzia's website currently so I thought that it would be helpful to go ahead and try those on and give you guys a review and show you guys some of my favorites but before we get into the video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave this video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it because it helps me out so much and if you you want to keep up with me on social media and follow me you can follow me on instagram at sydney rakasner but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it okay so i'm not going to go in any particular order and as always i will link all the sweats down below for you guys and also leave my sizes i think if i'm not mistaken that pretty much all of their sweatpants cost 70 dollars, so that is the price point for all of these sweats I'm pretty sure if not I will leave it down below but to start off I'm not gonna go in any particular order like I said but I'm gonna start with my favorite pair of sweats which is the cozy AF mega sweatpants and I have them in this really nice gray Aritzia does the best grays and the heather ice gray is probably my favorite colorway um, but these ones are most like your traditional sweatpant, like one that you stole out of your brother's closet or your dad's closet, like athletic ones that you had back in middle school that were just like so cozy. I feel like that is really reminiscent of these sweatpants. So they have the traditional drawstring where it's actually on the inside. So if you wear them like this, you won't see the drawstring, but I always cuff mine that's just how i like to wear my sweats so then like the little string sticks out um and in these i got a size medium i'm pretty sure that all the sweats i'm going to show you today are a size medium um and then they have a little bit of a cinch at the waist so it's not really like a jogger where it's like super tight um but it definitely is cinch you guys will see on the try on um but they just are like really oversized and so cozy um they have pockets and then they have a really cute like tna engraved on the side which i think that they're starting to do which i really think is cute it's not like a really obnoxious logo or tag but it's really nice that they have like the little embroidery but like i said these are my literal favorite pair you guys need these they come in so many different colors um but what i will say i mentioned this in one of my other videos but the gd garment dye versions do run a little bit smaller so these are a size medium um i do feel like i could take a size small it just kind of depends on your preference and how you want the fit to be um but for the garment dyes the material is different they're not as soft they're like a little bit harder um and they do run smaller so just keep that in mind if you want to get the mega and you're looking at any of the dyes okay so the next pair of sweats is one of their classic styles i think that this might even be the first style of sweats that they came out with but these are the cozy af boyfriend sweatpants and these ones are definitely more of a traditional jogger style i have these in a size medium and they are pretty tight um, i do feel like it's because i've had these ones for like four years i <laughs> think i actually got them at the tna store in vancouver um but these are your traditional jogger style so they have like this three banded waist which i do like this does cinch you in and makes you feel really secure and then the drawstring is on the outside so unlike the mega sweatpant if you were to cuff these you would not see the drawstring um they have two pockets these pockets are really tiny the mega sweatpant has like giant pockets i could fit like my wallet my keys my phone all in one pocket um and these are pretty tight and the pockets are small so i don't think that you could really fit anything in these pockets if i were to ever get this style again which i don't see myself buying them again i would get a size large just because i want my sweats to be oversized and i just feel like these ones aren't that 
Um, like I said, they're more of a traditional jogger style, so these are tight on your ankle, and they really cinch in, like they're almost like a pair of leggings. Again, I don't know if it's just because mine are old and they have shrunk so much in the wash, um, but yeah, definitely really tight here. Um, and this colorway is the Heather Cloud White, which I really love that colorway as well. Aritzia has so many good grays, but um, that is the boyfriend. I wouldn't put them on my list of ones to get just because, I don't know, I don't really love a jogger style anymore, but that is these. Okay, so next up is another one of my favorites that I would highly recommend that I just picked up recently. Um, these are the TNA Cozy AF Wide Leg Sweatpants, and I really love these, you guys. I feel like they are very much on trend with just the fashion styles right now, with having like a long open leg, just like a baggy fit. I really love them. Um, these ones have the drawstring outside, and these are a size medium, and this is the Heather Chrome. The Heather Chrome is really, really similar to the Heather Ice Gray, but the Heather Ice Gray is just like a smidgen lighter, um, versus these I feel like are like a true light gray. But I love these. They have like the three-layer banded waist, just like the boyfriend, um, and they cinch really well. Uh, you can really pull these like super tight. Um, they have really big pockets on these also, which I can really appreciate. I can fit so many things in the pockets. Um, and then the leg is definitely wide leg. So if you're looking for a more straight leg fit, I don't think that this is it. It really is like a wide leg sweat. So like it kind of like flares out a little bit, which I think is really cute. Um, I have the matching sweatshirt to go with it and I love wearing them together. I just think that it looks so cute. Um, you look put together because you're in a full sweat suit, but you're so comfy. So I really love these ones. Um, and if you are a tall girl, they are definitely tall girl friendly. Um, I think that these are maybe like a 32 inch inseam. So if you're a little bit on the shorter side, you probably will need to get them hemmed. Um, but what I would recommend also for all the Aritzia sweatpants is to wash them on delicate or on cold and then hang them to dry. I had a little bit of shrinking happen with these ones, but I was lucky that they actually stretched back out. So again, I think I mentioned this before, but a lot of the sweats do have stretch. So if they're a little bit tight and you want them to be a little bit more form fitting, I would just go ahead and go with that tighter style and they will loosen up like quite a bit. Um, these were pretty tight on my thigh, not pretty tight, but like they were fitted on my thigh and then as I wore them they became super oversized. But I would definitely recommend these ones, these are my second favorite. So moving on, the next pair is one of the pairs that I think Aritzia has had the longest as well, along with the boyfriend. Um, and they used to be called the Perfect Jogger, but now I believe they are called the Perfect Pocket Sweatpant. And you guys, unfortunately, these are just not one of my favorite pairs. If you had your eye on them, truly I would not recommend them just because I don't think that these are a flattering style. They are a jogger, so um, they do cinch at the bottom and they cinch at the bottom a lot like this is a pretty good chunk of the sweat um, And then it just kind of gives like that balloon style, you know what I mean? So it's like loose on your thigh loose on your calf and then it cinches like really tight at the bottom Which I do not love that at all, but I do like that. It has like this super thick Waistband that really sucks you in and is really flattering um, and the drawstring is on the inside But I think that maybe I just have the wrong size and maybe I could size down to a size small and I would like them um, But they have the pocket on the butt and the back part has just stretched out so much I'm sure you guys can see that and it just kind of gives like a diaper vibe, you know, I'm really not a fan of these ones. Um, and they have the little TNA tag on the pocket, which I do think is cute. But these are one of the older styles, so I'm not sure if the newer styles fit a little bit differently, but I'm sure that they fit the same. Um, unfortunately, they're just not my favorite. So moving on, the next pair is a little bit different than like the traditional sweatpants. These ones are actually a pair of the thermal sweats. So I believe that these are called the TNA thermal joggers, TNA thermal sweatpants. Um, I think when I got them, they used to be joggers. 
Um, but these are in a size medium and these are in black. You probably cannot tell how they look at all, but you'll see them on the try-on. I really do like these and I think that they pair really cute with other TNA thermal items. So like if you have a black thermal top, um, I really love the Alamo top and I always wear it with these and I feel like it looks really cute just to have like the thermal and the thermal. Um, if you had the thermal zip up and you got the thermal joggers, I think that that would look really, really cute. But if you had to pick any of them, I definitely would recommend getting the cotton style sweatpants over getting the thermal. But if you are in the market for thermal and you want a cute sweatsuit, I do recommend these. These are again more of a jogger style. So they cinch at the bottom. But for whatever reason, these ones are just made a lot more flattering than the other jogger styles. Um, I think that maybe because the material just isn't as thick. They're really cozy too. Like these have retired to just be like my in the house after I take a shower sweats that I throw on. Um, they don't give me like the saggy diaper booty and they're like pretty fitted all the way around. I think that these ones might be cheaper. These ones might be $50, um, but I do recommend these. Um, I don't recommend them as your first Aritzia sweatpants buy, but if you wanted to get some thermal ones, I think that these ones are awesome. All right, you guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful to some of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave this video a like and a comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.